I'm filming the images in this review on a Sony A7S and APS-C crop mode with a Metabones adapter. The Canon EFS 55-250mm f4-5.6 to IS STM is designed to cover an APS-C sensor only and it will not cover full frame. This variable aperture telephoto lens cost me only £139.99 from eBay, which is a grey import from Hong Kong. By buying a grey import I saved around £158 looking at the Amazon UK price. The only thing you lose by buying a grey import is a UK warranty, but can only give you a one year warranty anyway so I think it's worth the risk. The lens comes with front and rear caps but no lens hood. The ET63 lens hood from Canon cost me £12.99. The 55-250mm focal length makes this lens strictly telephoto. Canon say the full frame equivalent focal length is 88 to 400 millimeters. Marked on the barrel are six focal lengths: 55 millimeters, 70 millimeters, 100 millimeters, 135 millimeters, 200 millimeters, and 250 millimeter. In my opinion, this lens is ideally suited for travel, events, portraits, landscape, and wildlife. This lens has a slow variable aperture ranging from f4 to 5.6. Many reviewers claim this lens won't be ideal for low light image making. I do disagree and think this lens works great on my Sony A7S. The f4 aperture is only available at 55mm until 63mm. f4.5 begins at 64mm and ends at 99mm. f5 starts at 100mm and ends at 154mm. f5.6 starts at 155mm and ends at 250mm. Variable aperture lenses can be a pain for video, but at this price I can't complain. Just note that the lens barrel does extend 6cm when zoomed into 250mm. The lens features IS or image stabilisation. You do have a physical switch to turn the IS on or off. Here is a lens at 250mm with the IS turned off. And here is a lens with the IS turned on. The image stabilisation on this lens is great, perhaps the best I've used so far. The lens is made in Malaysia, so don't expect a Canon L grade build, and the lens is not weather sealed. The whole lens is made from a high quality plastic, even the lens mount. I have no issues with the build quality, and the lens feels solid. Compared to the other STM lenses, this 55-250 is rather large, and I'm surprised it only weighs 375 grams. The filter diameter is 58mm, and the filter threads are made out of plastic. You can stack multiple filters with this lens without issues. The Canon 55-250 STM is a focus by a wire lens. There is no mechanical connection between the focus ring and the lens's mechanics. You can only manually focus the lens when the camera is turned on, as focus by wire lenses need power to function. This lens features an auto manual switch, but you can turn the focus ring at any time. The barrel does not extend when focusing. The focus ring turns smoothly, and one thing to note is that the STM motor is really quiet and can't be heard on a camera's microphone. While focusing, the front element doesn't rotate, so you can use a rotatable filter. Amazingly, this lens does not suffer from focus breathing. While not being a true power focal lens, the STM drive actually adjusts the focus while the zoom ring is turned, and the lens does seem to hold focus. Autofocus is not a strong point of adapted lenses, so I use this combo in manual focus only. If you're a filmmaker, you should be using manual focus anyway. No filmmaker that I follow uses autofocus. So how is the image quality of the Canon 55-250mm STM? I'm testing the image quality on my Sony A5100's 24 megapixel sensor. At 55mm and f4, in the centre, the lens is very sharp with good contrast. The extreme corners look a little soft and do show little chromatic aberrations. Stop the lens down to f5.6 for slight improvements in the centre and in the corners. At f8 we have another burst of sharpness both in the centre and corners. At f11, diffraction sets in. At 135mm and f5, in the centre the lens is very sharp. The corners are also very sharp. I don't see much chromatic aberrations now at 135mm. Top down to f5.6 for more resolution, both in the centre and corners. At f8 we have another burst of sharpness, both in the centre and corners. The C is well controlled now at 135mm. Once again diffraction sets in at f11. At 250mm and f5.6, in the centre the lens is very sharp. The corners are also very sharp but you may notice some chromatic aberrations on contrasting edges. Stop the lens down to f6.3 for further sharpness, both in the centre and corners. At f8 we have another burst of sharpness, both in the centre and corners. Once again diffraction sets in at f11. Lens charts are one thing, but in real world images, I find this lens to be sharp enough and perfectly usable when shot wide open at any focal lengths. The chromatic aberrations has not been a problem in my video images. Now for distortion and vignetting. 
At 55mm and f4, the lens shows a little amount of barrel distortion. The corners look dark at f4, but step down to f5.6 for brighter corners. When you zoom into 250mm and f5.6, the lens shows mild pincushion distortion. The corners are dark, but stop down to f8 for much brighter corners. The minimum focus distance is 85cm at all focal lengths, so you can get close to your subject. When shooting into the sun, the flare doesn't look too bad. You can see some veiling, but this is a telephoto lens which generally don't work too well with bright light sources. The seven iris blades also create 14 point sun stars. Now for bokeh. This variable aperture lens is not letting a lot of light. The rendition of the out of focus backgrounds is generally very attractive, with a smooth natural look. The bokeh balls do have a little colour fringing, but I see no onion ringing or much business upon close inspection. So, to conclude, this is another fantastic lens from Canon. The 55-250mm STM is an ultra useful lens that covers a crop sensor at a bargain price. Yes, it's a plastic lens, but the build quality, small size, lightweight and price is great. I find the images on this lens to be perfectly usable when shot wide open or step down to f8 for razor sharp image quality. Sony's answer to this lens is a 55-210mm f4.5-6.3 OSS, which I actually own too. The lens is not a bad performer when stopped down and it's as cheap as this Canon version and even comes with a free lens hood. While the Canon lens is made out of plastic, this Sony lens is made out of metal and is smaller and lighter at 345g. Canon lens has a better aperture, zoom range and overall image quality in my opinion. I do have a brief review of the 55-210mm to Sony lens on my channel and it's another great option for the price. So if you're after a telephoto lens that covers a crop sensor, has excellent optical quality, is lightweight and doesn't cost a small fortune, then this Canon lens might be the perfect option. The Canon 55-250 IS STM comes highly recommended. Thanks for watching.